Hi, I'm Darian. I'm the owner of DE Media Design. And today I just wanted to share my story of how I got into videography and how I created this small business. So growing up, my mom always had nice cameras because she dabbled in photography a little bit. And so needless to say, I've known my way around a camera ever since I could learn. And so I just always enjoyed taking pictures of people and things and just playing around with the camera. And also when I was younger, once you know we got a video camera, I was always making videos with our neighbors and my siblings. I would draw out these scripts and I would make them act it out for me. I can specifically remember making a haunted house movie with our neighbors, um, making superhero movies, all kinds of things, music videos. And like I would even have the credits rolling at the end. Like since I was so young, I've been doing this. And it was always so much fun to me to create and just kind of feel like I was making this movie. It was so cool to me. And so fast forward a little bit, um, I'm not sure exactly when, maybe like middle school, I started doing a lot more photography. And so I started a business. Um, I don't know if you would call it that at the time, but I would take pictures for people and it started out kind of as a hobby and then I guess it just grew. It was Darian's Photography, very original I know. And um, I did a lot of like senior pictures and family pictures and um, I really enjoyed that. I love photography. I've been doing it for a very long time like I've said. But it wasn't until 2016 I got asked to do my first wedding video. Now let me back up a little bit. How that happened was um, maybe like even ever since high school, I had a YouTube channel with one of my friends and we would just make like stupid videos and just had fun with it. And then after that, I ended up making my own YouTube channel and just kind of more like vlogs and documenting my life. I just thought it was a lot of fun to be creative, but also to keep making videos. And so I kind of had that reputation in our small town for a little bit. And so because of that, I had a friend ask me to video her wedding. And I was shocked that she asked me and honestly kind of terrified because that's a big deal. And so I thought about it for a while and I said yes, but I was like, this is just going to be like my wedding gift to you. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, at this time, like for my YouTube videos, I would use my like I had like a little um, point and shoot like vlog style camera I used a lot but I was starting to learn how to use my DSLR for video but didn't really quite know what I was doing and so I just said I would do it as a favor so I did that wedding and I didn't even know that you could use manual settings for video on a DSLR like you could for photos and so that whole wedding I shot it in automatic mode um which was very difficult it was an outdoor wedding so we were pretty much outside the whole day and um needless to say it was very difficult but i didn't know any better i had a lot of fun with it um and that was kind of like my first i mean i had been married but other than that that was kind of my first experience like behind the scenes of a whole wedding day seeing how it went and i really enjoyed it actually um and so I gave that to her. I think they gave me like $50 in gift cards like as a thank you. And that was my first wedding. Well, then shortly after that, I had another friend who heard that I did that ask me to video their wedding as well. And by this point, I had figured out accidentally that you could do manual in video mode. And so I'd been playing with it. I knew how to use manual from photography. And so essentially it was the same concept and I finally figured that out so I was like okay I kind of know what I'm doing so that was my first like paid wedding and I if I'm thinking right I think I charged them $250 for this video and it was like an all-day thing so um, hopefully that's encouraging to some of you getting started but I just like again like I said didn't quite know what I was doing but I was feeling a little more confident and that wedding I felt like I started to get a hang of things and I was like okay like I kind of get this now you know, it's only my second wedding. I can't really say I had a routine, but I was just kind of getting like, okay, a lot of the things are the same. Um, learning from the photographers that were at each of the weddings and all that stuff. So again, I just really liked it. And honestly, from there, it kind of just spread 
by word of mouth that I was doing that. Of course, I posted the wedding videos on YouTube and Facebook kind of to get my name out there a little bit. And I was just like, you know, if I'm still have my photography business, but I was like, if people ask me to do video here and there, I might do that too. Like it's a little bit extra money. That's kind of nice. Um, well then my, you know, going into 2017, I had 14 weddings booked for that year, plus a full-time job. Um, actually a full-time job, a part-time job and my photography business. So it was crazy to me that like how fast this was spreading. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. And that was kind of the first time I realized you can really make some money doing this. Like this could be my full-time job. This is really cool. And I was having so much fun. Like, I can't believe this is my job. I get to go around and make videos for people like I've always enjoyed doing. And so that kind of just was the start of my photography business. Eventually, um, I did stop with the photography. It was kind of a lot to juggle both. And like I said, I had a full-time job and another part-time job and it was just a lot to manage. So I did drop the photography just so I could have like my weeknights to edit. And I just really was starting to enjoy it. Honestly, I never thought that I could turn my love for making videos into a career, but here we are. Um, I've been doing this I think for five years now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've been doing it for professionally for a while now and I am excited to say that this is my full-time job and this is what I do for a living and I'm you know, supporting us while my husband goes to college and that's just something that I'm really proud of. I'm really proud of myself for how it's grown and the reason being is I have worked so hard to get to this point. Like it's not an easy transition, let me tell you. Um, you know, I guess maybe it could be for some people, but for me, that was like four years of working multiple jobs to be able to support myself, you know, invest in new equipment and, you know, get my name out there and all this. So like it took time to grow this, to grow this business and to get where I am today. And that's like one reason I'm just so proud of myself for where I am is because I know how hard I worked to get here. I just really love that I can control my schedule and um, manage my own time, be my own boss. That's what I've always wanted. I'm definitely um, the entrepreneur type and this is where I saw myself. I just didn't see myself doing video because like I said, I didn't realize that this could be turned into a career. And when I first started, I think it was kind of the start of the videography world. It's definitely grown a lot within like the last 10 years, I would say. It's looking a lot different than it did back when like my parents got married. Um, when my parents got married, someone carried around like this big video camera and they just kind of documented the day and we're now, um, it's completely different. It's storytelling, it's, um, it's documenting, but it's like in a cinematic way that tells a story, almost like a Hollywood film, um, but local. <laughs> so I just think it's such an amazing thing. I feel like I can be so creative and just really have some fun with it. And if you're new to videography or photography or really any small business that you're wanting to get into, I just encourage you to not give up and to keep working hard, um, set goals and know where you wanna be because it really pays off in the end. So if you guys have any more questions for me, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'd love to chat and get to know you, hear about your goals and your dreams. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week and I'll see you next time.